In a shocking twist and turns of events, the deputy president of Kenya claims that he was not consulted about the inclusion of members of the opposition into the broad-based government and the AU chairmanship bid for Rayla. Deputy President Riga T. Gachagua is banking on public participation to save his skin as MPs plan to table a motion for his impeachment at the National Assembly. Addressing local stations in Meru on Sunday night, Mr. Gachagua said kicking him out of the Kenya Kwanzaa administration would not be a walk in the park like lawmakers wanted to appear. Mr. Gachagua said from the meetings he had held over the past week, the people in the M to Kenya region are not interested in seeing him out of the government. He said public participation is enshrined in the constitution before such a matter as impeachment is decided, adding that it not done just like that. We must follow the law and the constitution is clear where the parliament cannot be left alone to handle such a serious matter. I am waiting to see how they will conduct the public participation after the motion is tabled because that is a requirement. Let the MPs go to the people and ask them whether impeaching Gachagua is the right thing to do when we have a lot of work to do, the DP said. I have toured the M Kenya region and my people on the ground have told me I should not get shaken, and assured me that when their MPs come to ask them whether they should impeach me, they will tell them off. The job I hold was given to me by the people of Kenya and just 200 people cannot overturn the will of the people, he added. Mr. Gachagua waded into the formation of the broad base government, saying although he was not initially consulted about incorporating opposition leader Rayla Odinga's allies into the cabinet, he embraced it after President William Ruto explained why it was necessary. The president told me that we needed to foster unity in the country and I agreed. But if the numbers were being mobilized in parliament so that they can kick me out of government, then the president was not honest and he will not be trusted even in churches. Kenyans will realize that Mr. Odinga did not come for unity, but to destroy the United Democratic Alliance Party, which will suffer stability, he said. Again, if they go ahead with the plan to impeach me, it will not augur well for Rayla Odinga in his quest to clinch the AUC chair. How can he be fighting battles at home and seeking a continental position that is supposed to unify Africa? Gachagwa said. Thanks for viewing. I am your guy Bravin Omandi.